thank everybody for coming tonight. I really, uh, appreciate you being here. Like the Chief said, uh, there's probably a lot I'm not going to be able to tell you about this investigation, but I am going to be able to walk you through some of the events that did occur on Thursday night. And as you see, we've got a map up here of, uh, of the location of the incident where it occurred. Last Thursday night, around 4.30, we get a call of a carjacking that had just occurred at 15892, which is this location, 107th place. I hear right from the start of that. The call comes out that carjacking just occurred, two male suspects wearing hoodies, armed with a nine millimeter, both armed with nine millimeter handguns, rob a victim at gunpoint at this location. The victim at that time is able to get away from these guys during the, during the course of the robbery. What they take from him is his money, an iPod, and some cell phones from the victim at this location. Like I said, the victim at that time is able to get away from the suspects. The suspects leave in a white sedan vehicle. That's what is being aired to the officers as we're coming into the area. When the suspects leave the area on 107th place, they come up here on, on uh, I believe it was Heartland Street. As they come down Heartland Street, they collide with the tree, and they hit the tree head on because they're trying to get away out of the area quick. They lose control of the vehicle, and at that point, they hit a tree head on, causing a substantial amount of damage to the front end of the car, also flattening the right front tire. After they hit this tree, they go down Heartland Street, and they come up here on Chambers. When they hit Chambers Street, they go north on Chambers. Again, officers are responding in the area. We're getting additional information on the, on the vehicle, license plate, suspects, and so forth. As a, as a suspect vehicle is going north on Chambers Street, I have two of my detectives in an unmarked police vehicle at 112th and Chambers. They are listening to this call coming out over the radio. They know what's going on. They hear the call go down. And as they're, and as they're parked right here at this uh, stop sign at 112th and Chambers, they look down uh, on Chambers Street to the south, and they see the white vehicle. They spot a white vehicle coming northbound on Chambers Street at a high rate of speed, weaving in and out of traffic and, and, and just really moving. At that time, they go by the detectives, and when they go by the detectives, the detectives notice that the right front tire has been flattened. Still, they're not sure if this is the suspects at this time because we're still getting information. At that time, detectives in the unmarked vehicle, there's two of them, fall in behind the white sedan, and now they're going northbound on Chambers Street, being followed by the two detectives at this time. Detectives are advising over the radio, we think we got the suspect vehicle, can you give us some additional information? They continue no northbound on Chambers Street until they get to about 120th Avenue, right there at the intersection. When the suspect vehicle gets to the 120th, and again, the detectives are right in behind these guys. They're not sure which way they're gonna go. It looks like they wanna go to the west, but then they hang a quick right, and they go eastbound on, a, on, on Chambers Street. So now we got the suspects and the detectives going eastbound on Chambers Street. As they get up to about 120th, right here at uh, Jasper Street, they make a left turn into this housing development in here. Detectives again, right in behind them, following right behind them. Once they get into this housing development, they confirm that we got the right vehicle. These are our boys. And then they light them up. In other words, they turn the lights and the sirens on them at this time. The suspects kind of go into a, like I said, a housing development with a dry wind. They make kind of like a U-turn in there, again, being followed by the detectives. Once they make the U-turn in there, they confront, they, they confront the detectives head on. In other words, they're both facing each other. One of the detectives get out of the car, they draw their weapon, and he identifies himself. Police stop. At that time, they don't stop naturally, and they take off. They go back down Jasper Street, and they hit 120th. Detectives are right behind them at that time, light siren going. Once they hit 120th, they make a left, they make a right turn, and now we're going westbound on 120th Avenue. Detectives are still right in behind them. We've got other units converging in the area. Somewhere between 120th and Jasper, they lose their right front tire. The front, fire goes, the front tire gets taken off of the vehicle, and now they're driving on their rim. They get to 100, the intersection on 120th there, 
And as you know, you're familiar with that intersection. This is 4.30 in the afternoon. So we got a lot of traffic in that area. We got traffic eastbound and we got traffic westbound. Officers and suspects are coming up on 120th. Suspects get to 120th, they can't go any further. The, uh, the, uh, the wheel is off the car. At that time, both suspects bail from the car. When both suspects bail from the car, both officers bail from the car. Once, off, once the detectives exit the car, they notice that both, both driver and passenger are armed with what looks to be a nine millimeter handgun. The driver, the passenger of the suspect vehicle, when he exits the car, he immediately goes to a vehicle that's parked <coughs> on 120th. He begins banging on the window with his, with the end of the butt of the gun, pointing the gun in the window, trying to carjack vehicles to get them out of the car so they could take the car. At that time, one of the officers fired. We think at that time he hits, it, hits one of the suspects <coughs> in the arm, because at that time the gun that he was carrying goes flying. The other suspect, the driver, is being chased by the uh, other detective who was driving the vehicle. As they're going up 120th Avenue, again, it's pretty much bumper to bumper up there. These suspects are, 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 are making contact with a number of motorists up there, banging on the wheel, pointing guns at them, trying to get them out of the car. Officers at that time engage them again because at that time, the officers determined we've got to stop these guys. These guys are a threat. If, if they shoot somebody in that car, if they jerk somebody out of the car, we now have a kidnapping situation, and, and it could get really more uglier than what it is now. At that time, the officers again fire, and at that time, both suspects go down. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs>